sees both ways. On April 4th, 2006, I write these words, remembering an old April that I hold in ways I had almost forgotten. Thirty-eight years ago today, they shot Martin Luther King in Memphis. I studied late and alone on the deserted Vanderbilt campus. Like most graduate students, I heard no news. I didn't hear the muted sound of riots in the streets. I didn't know Dr. King had been shot. Then the old janitor rolled his trash card into my silent TA den in the dim basement of Old Central. Do I have to say that Vanderbilt's in Nashville, in the South, and they shot Mr. King down the road, and Old Central is where the agrarians pondered, I'll take my stand, and segregation. And do I have to say the janitor was a black man of great dignity, a friend who taught me much about the trees and plants and other things that grew on campus. He told me the news. Wordless silence wound around us. We listened to excited voices on his scratchy portable radio. Dawn was a long way off. Sirens, tanks came closer. We said nothing. Then he almost whispered, things always get bad before they get better. Pray Jesus, we all get better together. We shook hands. He put his hand on my shoulder the way a wise old man knows how to do. Said, get home safe. Be careful where you go. I climbed into the midnight stillness, West End Avenue, eerie and empty, only the wind. Took my usual route through Centennial Park, then saw all the troops and trucks. I kept walking until they seized me by the concrete Parthenon held me two hours, the National Guard in the Athens of the South. Many tanks, soldiers in jeeps, I was in forbidden terrain, in deep, a space and curfew violator. They checked me out, walkie-talkies, crackling, finally let me go home to my place in the blacked out street. Not much else happened that April. I passed my PhD orals. Bobby came to town, then they shot another Kennedy down. Then there was Jean, that season of my last campaign. I'm still glad I sang for Eugene McCarthy, the right one, though some said the wrong party. Years later, when I saw Jean give a keynote at Princeton on Fitzgerald, his literate wit confirmed by old choice. In China, in 68, cultural revolution raged. In France, radicals shut down the country. In Prague, the tanks came. Later, leaders and victims of all those games would become my friends in all those places and more. Bound by soissant wheats, horror and grace. But what I remember most and hold tight today is the way old Moses, the janitor, prayed we'd all get better together, and his hand on my shoulder, his voice, the promised land shining beyond fire and flood to the keeper of the door, the voice that keeps repeating, things get real bad before they get better. We're strong at the broken places together.